Hey gamer, freestylers are hacking Rocket League and I'm on a mission to figure out how. The way they're doing this, they're using something called TAS plugin. And TAS is short for Tool Assisted Speedrun, I believe. I'm gonna learn how to use it today. Okay, so I'm gonna try to hit a cutter pinch and I'm normally not very consistent with these, but I wanna go straight into the net. Okay, and that was actually decent, but let's say I want that to go in. So I'm gonna stop the task, update, start again. And what you can do, you can slow down your recording speed, super, super slow. So I'm slowing this down to around half speed. And let's say I wanna take over right here. Boom, I can slow it down and really try to get the exact moment. I'm not gonna stop until I get a cuxer pinch that hits the crossbar and goes in. 10 point spot, nope. 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 Okay. Not bar down, but good. Okay. Maybe that one's a little bit better. No! Bar down. Please, 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 please. We did it! Now you set all the speeds back to normal, and you click start, and I can just be like, okay, look, I'm gonna get a bar down cuxer pinch right now. Boom, looks like I'm playing. I get a bar down cuxer pinch, I look like I'm God. So that is how these players are doing it. I learned how it works, but this looks nothing like the task shots I see on TikTok. How did they get the jet? How are they so good at passing? Like I played for 10,000 hours and I'm not that good at passing. So I came up with an idea to invite three of the best task freestylers in the world and I'm gonna have these big dogs show us the secret sauce. They have three days to create their best shot possible and make sure to watch until the end because the winner gets $1,000 and is being chosen by you. Day one has officially started, and first we're gonna look into Bredzel. Hello everybody, I'm Bredzel, and um, I'm gonna participate to the Musty uh, Task Competition. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I, I already have um, something uh, planned, multiple tasks with uh, different uh, modes. Bredzel made a task like this in the past called A Game Between Two Gods that instantly went viral on TikTok, so I'm excited to see him do it again, but with a little bit of a twist. Now let's go over to Fractal, who's taking a completely different approach, and he's creating his own map just for this shot. All right, now we got a starting platform. We got a ring, we got some lasers, got a wall. Got some, uh, got a UFO and some, uh, an asteroid. Now it's feeling like space. And our third task user, Nape, had a similar plan. He also had a space theme, but with a different twist. What I'm going to try and do for this shot is a space skate park with meteors flying around. He added a pole that the car can grind on, and finished the day by starting on the shot. I just finished my first task, and now, uh, I'm gonna create, uh, Tass. And for his second task shot, he decided to use a small cube ball. I just had a very lucky uh, bounce. So, look. Very lucky, so I'm gonna continue with this. After another long hour, Bresdo completed his second shot. And it sounded like he ended the day in a good spot, and it's all going to plan. Fractal finished making a scene and even had time at the end of the day to get started on the shot. So, this is what we got so far. Got some cartwheels that I'll turn into a meteor that I'll be cartwheeling on going through some lasers and then I'll be passing it to a UFO and then we're gonna see what else we can cook up. Then added some planets in the background and also got a lot more progress done with the actual shot. Probably about three quarters of the way done. Tackle more of this stuff tomorrow. But before we get into day two, I really wanted to test the potential of tasks myself. So if I can get the ball to stop on my car, I can make a new task ball here and I can really do so much with it. So I can make a new task, create it, Okay, I'm definitely saving that attempt because I can do a gillion things with this, dude. Now let's try to get a psycho. Wait, I thought of something. I thought of something. I thought of something. I thought of something. Oh! That's kind of what I wanted, bro. I was like, kind of not, not the move, but I, I did my shot. Okay, so this took me only like 10 minutes, so... Clean, musty, insanely clean, air dribble. To a psycho. Like, not obviously not the best psycho, but this is like such a cool program. The fact that I did that in 10 minutes, imagine like an hour, 10 hours, 100 hours, sometimes people spend on these shots. So I guess like one final thing that I've never done before is 
A dribble where you dribble it on the side of your car. I've never done that before. So let's see if we can get like a full field dribble on the side of our car. Let's see if we can do it. I'll keep trying my shot, but we'll get back to it later because it's the start of day two and Bredzel is ready to cook. This is day two uh, of the test competition. So I'm gonna just create a new test and uh, I'm gonna do a test with uh, the puck. Five hours later. So I just finished my test with the puck. So this reset took me about one hour. Now that the puck portion of the shot is complete, he started setting up a shot for the final day. We're back on day two. Look at these dope textures. Look at them. Look at them. I don't think you're looking at them. Check out the spaceship we had to make. Add a little bit of pizzazz. Add some blue LED in there. Add our little logos. These clouds and these rings are separate from the planet itself, so we can actually have this end up rotating. All right, I think we're done with the actual shot now. We're gonna end it here with a ground pinch and that's gonna hopefully go up to a spaceship, maybe have a UFO um, take it over somewhere and then uh, we're gonna shoot it at the earth and uh, have it explode. Now let's check in on Nape's day two progress. Today I plan to add a big segment of meteor passing point. So Nape's footage actually corrupted here, but like he said, he added meteors and had them flying through the air, redirecting the ball back and forth. Going back to Fractal, before the end of day two, he added lasers and an asteroid. Holy crap, dude, this has been taking so long. I'm losing my mind. You don't understand. <sighs> We're halfway through, but it feels like we've got miles to go, but uh, we've made some decent progress so far. Probably gonna do a little bit more with uh, the UFOs and uh, get some tub movement maybe. That'll probably be it for the night. But before we end day two, I wanna show you guys what I came up with. And I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I wanna go for some cool like sideways dribble though. So we'll just do it all at normal speed, see what I come up with so far. Okay, that's a start, that's a start. There we go. So now I wanna maybe pogo. Do like a side and little touch and then ceiling. Okay, now I just need a good pogo. I'm just gonna I'm gonna say this with him. That's good, that's good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now I need to get it on the side of my car, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that. Wait, that could be good, could be good. Oh my god, oh so close. And just really refine this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was sick. Even just that was cool, dude. Oh, that's insane. I just got to finish it all the way into the goal. That's so easy, bro. Okay, I took over too early. Can I do it, can I do it again, though? Little spin. Little flick. I did it. That's that's my Tass shot. That is the best shot I can hit with Tass. I gotta make sure I save this correctly. Stop, update. Oh my god, I'm gonna put it in normal speed for you guys. Here, here's my Tass shot, y'all. Like, it, it's insane that I'm able to do this. Perfect pogo. Bro! <laughs> That is insane. I want to post that like the Twitter, bro. I just think it's funny like how hype I was getting because for my standards, it's really good. I even posted it to Twitter, but that's not even close to what these guys are going to come up with on day three. Okay, so this is day three of a uh, musty test competition. I just finished my last test in less than one hour. So I'm going to show you what I did. So here I just do uh, some dashes and uh, this weird uh, catch to a uh, perfect air dribble into the ceiling. So I took some reset and I finish 
with uh, Ms. T Fitch. To connect all the shots, he got another controller and joined the match split screen. So you can't have two cars at the same time in tasks, so he used his second controller to act like an opponent. Then he edits the clips together, so once he got all the clips combined, he was the first to submit his shot. Nape started off day three by finishing off his map. As you can see right here, this is the finished version of the skate park. I don't plan on changing much of it. Through the day, he kept working on his actual shot, but found himself in a bit of a time crunch. I already started trying to get a good slide on this pole right here, and what I'm going to do with the pole is just slide down it, standing upwards on it. Here I am at the middle of day three, and this is definitely the hardest part of the shot. I only have three and a half hours before the deadline. He really doesn't have that much time to plan on how he's gonna finish the shot off, so let's hope he figures it out by the end of the day. On the other hand, Fractal was just a couple of steps away from finishing his shot. So it's day three, everything's gotta be done today. So we got all of the basic movements down now. So now all of the walls are gone, everything that we're hitting is moving and reacting, and then finish off with a, a nasty pinch. So now I just gotta figure out how to get that ball to cleanly go into that spaceship. I'm thinking of maybe pinching it to the UFO and having the UFO carry it into there. There's actually a entrance at the bottom there, that blue orb. So maybe that could uh, go in there and then act like a docking station and then the uh, earth go bye bye. So basically this is the logic that we have set up here. So that ground pinch is going to hit this trigger volume, which is going to launch it um, extremely far out. To save you guys from all the boring stuff, let's fast forward a couple of hours and day three came to an end and all three shots were complete. So he gets the ball, do a cartwheel on an asteroid, like multiple cartwheels. Musty to the UFO, UFO to the musty. Reset off the G Fuel. I think it's so cool like how he incorporated, like he knows I'm sponsored by G Fuel and you know, he incorporated that into Shot. I didn't even know he had my logo there. He has a lot of my logos, looks like. Jeez. Very creative. Like, he, he only did this in a few days. I don't know if that pinch was, like, natural. Like, is it possible to actually get that fast of a pinch? I, I don't know if he had some mutator on there. So he hits into the UFO, into the space station. Which then ends the entire world. Absolutely insane shot from Fractal. He, he got so much done in 72 hours. He integrated like my branding in there. He had a whole theme for a shot. He's like in, he's in space. Super cool shot. Okay, so Nape, is that like a, he said he was gonna do something with like a skate park and he's already doing crazy stuff with the ball on the side of his car. Also had an idea with an asteroid. Multiple asteroids, multiple reset. <laughs> That's the thing with Tass is like, you, you still have to be so good at the game. I like they got a reset off the asteroid too, that's, that's insane. Oh my god. It doesn't even look like real. I guess it isn't real. That's so sick. Some sort of little slide there. So many resets, bro. Pogo off the asteroid. Okay, now he's into the little skating thingy thing here. That's cool, he's actually treating it like it's an actual like skateboard. That's 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 really cool how he did that. Because there's no way I'd be able to do that um naturally. Wow. So I love Nape's shot. It's actually super mechanical, super hard to do. So Fractal had like a better put together map. But Nape's shot was like absolutely insane, like in terms of mechanics and things like that. But let's move on to Bredzel's final shot here. All right, so Bredzel is the only one that didn't like make their own custom workshop map. So I'm hoping like the mechanics like really, really outshine here. And he did the split screen thing to get multiple cars. He resets off the cube, his other car. And that's the thing, without Tasks, there's like zero way to read a cube. It bounces in the most random possible way. Gotta pinch back to himself. And the cube turns into a puck. 37 wave dashes. I actually have not even like seen this part of the shot. Some sort of crazy pinch. Like 14 horse pass dash. I'll just call them pass dashes, bro. The fact that he's starting an air dribble from that is just insane. Oh my god. Why do I low key like, like this one the best? Pro 1v1s in like two years. Musty flick. Okay, and he gets it. 
I was hoping there would be like more at the end almost, but he only has a minute. Still fantastic mechanics from Bredzel, man. So those were the shots, and now it's your turn to pick who wins the $1,000. I posted all three of these clips as YouTube shorts, and whichever one gets the most likes in 48 hours is the winner. So go drop a like on your favorite to vote now.